So at that point, <laughs> two attacks in with a crit, we're already down below half health. Scarlet and Violet's first DLC, the Teal Mask, has been out for just over a week now. And I think at this point, it's safe to say most people have beaten the story and caught themselves Ogre Pond, the box art Pokemon for the Teal Mask. And Ogre Pond, if you didn't know, is kind of a monster. Not only is, is it a super cool looking Pokemon, but it has some amazing stats that makes it a monster in the VGC community and actually makes it a monster raid Pokemon as well. So today I'm gonna show you the ultimate build that you can use with Ogre Pond to wipe out just about any five or six star terror raid in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This one's kind of crazy and does massive damage. So let's get to it. But before I can show you guys what Ogre Pond looks like in a raid, we need to talk about what this adorable little Ogre Pond uh, actually looks like and what the build is. So this is Ogre Pond. Uh, it is grass and fire type uh, because it has the hearth flame mask on. Uh, your typing will depend on which mask Ogre Pond is actually holding. It will always be grass type, however. It is level 100 as it has to be. Uh, and we don't get an option to hold an item on this one. So no shell bell for this raid build. Okay. Our stats are maxed out in our physical attack and physical defense at this point. However, you could uh, kind of split between your physical defense and special defense to even those out a little bit and just make this a super all-around Pokemon. It has an adamant nature, and its ability is Mold Breaker. Now, as far as the moveset goes on this one, this is where things get pretty interesting. We're running Sword Stance on this one to boost our attack stat. We're running Ivy Cudgel because Ivy Cudgel's uh, typing will change depending on what mask Ogre Pond is holding. So right now, since we have the Hearth Flame mask, this would actually be a fire type Ivy Cudgel. We're also running Brick Break uh, because it's base 75 power. And we're also running Play Rough uh, just as some extra coverage moves. But Ivy Cudgel is going to be what we're mainly going to be using for this one. The basic strat here is to come in, use Sword Stance, uh, one to two times depending on the raid that you're going into whether it's five or six star Use Ivy cudgel a couple times until you can Terra Terra to get whatever boost you're gonna get and then continue to use Ivy cudgel to just destroy whatever raid that you're gonna uh, End up going against if you have to use brick break or play rough uh, feel free to use them If those are super effective, but I can tell you right now You're probably only going to need these two but you know what? Don't take my word for it. Let's see what this looks like in a raid. All right, so the big thing when using Ogre Pond as your like raid sweeper uh, on the map is you wanna pay attention to what uh, raid you are going into. We're very well equipped to handle just about everything, but you may have to change your mask depending on what you're going into uh, because we want Ivy Cudgel to be super effective against what we're going up against. So, for example, I have found this lovely bug type raid down here, which just so happens to be a five star Snorlax raid. Uh, Snorlax being very, very bulky with a ton of HP, uh, but we know that it's bug terror type, which means it is going to be uh, super weak to fire type. So, I've gone ahead and given Ogre Pond our fire type mask, so Ivy Cudgel ma or matches that. But with that, let's take a look at what this does to Snorlax in a raid. All right, now Snorlax, if you didn't know, is one of those Pokemon that uh, drops Herba Mystica. It is a new Pokemon added in at the DLC level uh, for raids that drops Herba Mystica. Uh, Snorlax also has the very annoying ability in here where he will uh, run, I think it's Mud Slap or Mud Shot at you, where he will just continue to drop your accuracy to the point where you can't hit him. So, beating Snorlax uh, is quite a challenge. However, Ogre Pond is definitely up for it. Uh, so we're gonna start off, we're gonna run just one Sword Stance to start off with to get ourselves up to plus two. Uh, he immediately starts running Mud Slap to lower our accuracy because he knows we're a threat. He knows. And once he's done that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use Ivy Cudgel. And we're going to start lowering his HP as much as we can. Uh, Snorlax will clear stats one time during this. Uh, so we want to make sure 
that we're not wasting three turns getting up to plus six. Uh, because three turns is more than enough for him to lower our accuracy to the point where we can't do anything. So, at that point, <laughs> two attacks in with a crit, we're already down below half health. Snorlax does bite again. Shield goes up. He's going to clear our stat changes that we really don't care about. Yep. And now that he's cleared our stat changes, we can go ahead. We can do one more sword stance. Uh, get ourselves back up to plus two. Uh, because we don't need to be at plus six for this one. It's only a five-star raid. If this was a six-star raid, that'd be a different story. Snorlax runs bite. It crits us, but the crit does basically nothing at this point. Uh, we can go back to using Ivy Cudgel now, which is still going to do chunks of damage, even with the shield up. He steals our Terra Charge. That's fine. We just need to do one more attack now. Mud Slap is honestly the worst part of this raid. Uh, having to deal with your accuracy being lowered and the Paralyze is honestly kind of a bummer but the fact that we're still not at minus six yet on our accuracy means that we're in good shape that's not fun <clears throat> i think we're at minus three now uh which means that hopefully we can terrestrialize here pretty soon there we go we can terra fire and now that we can terra fire and use our iv cudgel uh we should just start doing massive chunks of damage to snorlax and I mean massive chunks of damage. I will never get tired of seeing that terrestrialization animation, by the way. So, uh, our attack rises, which is phenomenal. We do Ivy Cudgel. We miss because our accuracy is so low at this point. Mud Slap continues to become an issue. And at this point, it just becomes a, a guessing game for us of whether or not we're actually going to hit or not. So, we do Ivy Cudgel again. It actually hits this time. Terra Ivy Cudgel with the attack boost should do, yeah, the rest of his HP. So, Ogre Pawn, uh, I know I said yesterday, Ursaluna is a monster of a raid Pokemon. Ogre Pawn, though, will dominate any and all raids at this point. So, if you're looking for a Pokemon that is uh, easy to take into a raid and easy to just run through as many raids as possible, this Ogre Pond build is exactly what you are going to want to have. Just insane amounts of damage. So, let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comments below. Uh, have you been using Ogre Pond for raids, or what do you think? If it can take out Snorlax, there's not a whole lot it can't take out. So, but that's all for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bitter Urban Mystica Raid. Uh, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.